What's up beautiful humans? We are up here chilling in the ever so dirty game room as it always is a work in progress. But we are here to introduce the five episode challenge uh, to see how much we can make per day at the Goodwill bins for five days. Like a normal work week would be Monday through Friday. We're doing it a little different. We're doing Friday through Tuesday. But I just wanna see if we can clear, you know, a decent amount of cash um, and make it our only source of income if we were to ever do that. So hang tight guys, it should be a fun one. Let's dig into these Goodwill bins. Seems like there's a lot of quality plush in this bin right here. Uh, this has been untouched. I always go back and forth on plush, uh, like what's good and what's not. I mean, that's like recognizable, so we'll look it up. Um, obviously, older tags are good if we see those. I don't know. I feel like I feel like we should just maybe do some homework on these and see. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, ooh, gaming mouse. Yeah, Logitech or uh, not Logitech. That's a Steel Series. I actually uh, used to run their mice. Uh, this is probably worth a couple bucks as long as it still works. Good little score. Just want to overview some stuff that we've gotten so far. We're about five minutes into our finds uh, here today. Uh, some tennis balls. I just want to look those up. Uh, this thing's from 1995. This little football scramble squares thing. Thought that was cool. Obviously, you guys saw the plush. Uh, I wanted to look this DVD up. It is a Robert De Niro in a Frankenstein movie, which is really cool. Uh, this Walgreens Bios thing. I have no idea what it is, but it's heavy, and I'm just curious. A lot of homework this morning. Uh, we got this little keyboard because it's all tangled up, but that's what we got so far. Random VHS scattered about in this bin. Um, we're actually looking for horror VHS. If any of you guys want to sell me some, but uh, I think this kind of qualifies as a horror VHS. I don't know. You let me know, guys, if this actually qualifies. But we're doing something really cool with the channel with a bunch of horror VHS in October. So stay tuned for that. But let me know if this counts. Is it a Furby? It's like a knockoff. What the heck is this? Oh, man. If it had the battery cover, I would take it. It definitely looks newer. I can't read what that is. You guys let me know what that thing is. I thought I, I thought I found a Furby. It would have been really cool to find one. All right, not a life size one, but a baby one. I forgot what year these are from. Obviously McDonald's. Uh, 98? I know you guys can't probably see that, but we're taking for sure. Ooh, sealed Barney? This is interesting. 97? I think this is definitely worth taking if it's sealed. Anything sealed from 97, I'm into it. And this, yes. Yes, that'll work. You can just tell that that's got some age on the tag right there. Good stuff. Just a little pro tip, uh, Mine Trap is literally a trap. Don't buy them, they are mass produced. I know the box looks really cool and you wanna buy it and you think it's vintage, it is vintage, it's from 96, but they produce so many and there's so little value in these. Don't buy them, they don't sell. Anytime I see filters or anything of the sort, I grab them. Um, same thing with this little uh, Dirt Devil F8 little filter type of breeze. Definitely should not have a ton of money, but good money. What year? What year? Nothing. This looks like it has some age to it. This is a Build-A-Bear. Uh, yeah. That's why we're not taking that. If it if it was in good condition, I would definitely take it. 
that big wood. Ooh, what's that? Sealed product. Oh, that's just peroxide. I just want to know what Star Trek this this thing this what set this came off of. Sean Luke Picard. Oh, uh, with the with the kid on an old school PC. I love it. I love it. I just want to see what this whole thing was. It's a shame that it's gone. I found these three. I think they're all Crayola. Yeah, they're all Crayola giant coloring books, and they're all sealed. Uh, definitely worth looking up. Oh, here's another one that's not sealed, but they look. I mean, yeah, they look cool, especially this one. This one looks really cool. This Avengers one is sweet. We're gonna look this up for sure. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Anything Pokemon related, we put it in the booth. It sells. So. A good three to five right there. Oh, well, let's do it. <laughs> I like this shirt. It is great. Here's a Wii set. I go back and forth on these things all the time. Um, yeah, probably gonna leave it. They're just, they're just, they're just so common. It's not worth it anymore. These Barbies don't seem old. There's a couple Barbies floating around in this bin. Yeah, that doesn't seem vintage enough to be worth anything. I decided to hop over to the media and found this Battlefield PC game. Uh, PC, hold on. PC stuff seems to be coming back, like I've said before, guys. Uh, not huge money, but, you know, good money. I also found this Asprey hiking backpack, and it looks to be in pretty decent shape, minus this little stain right here on the back but i don't think that would that would deter someone from buying this so we're gonna double check it and see if the comps are good but this should be a good buy oh okay sims 2 yeah. thank you thank you well this is definitely something i'm interested in we're uh, we're doing something we're, yeah we're doing we're doing something with uh with horror vhs yeah in october so we're trying to get a bunch of trying to get a bunch of horror vhs so that's awesome just Dance 4? No. Just Dance 4 is one of the uh, few Just Dances that actually has value. If you guys don't know, now you know. But uh, this Aerosmith, that is a greatest hit. Not in there. Oh man, it's kind of good stuff today. Kind of good stuff. I should have come over here. Yeah, as I was just talking to a viewer of the channel, uh, getting some goodies from her, thank you very much. Uh, but I definitely feel like I should have gone to the media this morning, man. Oh my God, there was some good stuff, but I am just elated to find uh, this nightmare on Elm Street. So good with the plastic still on there. I think that's great. That'll be going towards our project, but uh, also two Sims 2 games. Thank you again. <laughs> I've found similar stuff before of Might and Magic. Um, just so worth scanning. Probably like the Battlefield game. Not a ton of value, but a good just three to five. I think we're pretty good on checking these bins. There was a really good VHS bin over here. We went through it pretty good. There was no more horror VHS. Sorry for that intercom thing. There was, uh, there was no more horror VHS in here. I'm fairly certain. I thought this was. It's unforgiven. Wood. Johnny. Yeah, I mean this like Rome Total War Gold Edition. Worth looking up. Worth looking up. Anytime I see the CBS Fox logo, I know that it's a little bit earlier of a VHS. I went ahead and picked up both of these 007. You guys right here, uh, Octopussy and a View to Kill. Uh, just figured those will probably be a good three to five in the booth for sure. So on this Osprey backpack that I just showed you guys, um, the comps, there's only one of this exact model. It's the Eclipse 42. 
Um, and one was best offer accepted at 65 with 20 inch ship. So I have to imagine they probably accepted maybe around a 40 to $50 bill on that. But there's a ton of other comps on just Osprey backpacks. It's a good brand. I, I, I was like, I've heard this brand before and I've seen people pick this up. So I think after some cleaning, I mean, you know, I see like, I see like a 40 or $50 bill out of it, I think. Um, it looks to be pretty, in, I mean, like, pretty good shape, aside from, like I said, aside from this, but I think this is the least of people's worries when they buy a backpack like this. Um, it's just, you know, it's meant to be, a, meant to be a, a survival backpack. The last people, the last thing people care about is a little bit of damage like that. Um, so yeah, I think, I think this is a good buy. It's not, it's, it's light. So I think, I think we'll do good on that. I think we'll do good on that. All right, next up, I actually uh zesty might kill me for this but uh, i'm collecting uh thomas the tank stuff again i just need to get these little pieces out of here i don't think these little pieces like this carry any value but the track itself i just sold a 75 piece or it was either 75 or 79 piece of track for uh 50 bucks free ship uh shipping wasn't too bad on it it was like 10 bucks so i mean we made a 40 dollar bill off of just some track so I think I think that's pretty pretty dang good if you ask me, considering we come across this time of stuff all the time in the bins. So we'll go ahead and hang on to it. And uh, I don't know, maybe I don't know, maybe we'll we'll hang on to this other little stuff and see if we can maybe find more. I haven't seen really much of this, so that's the thing. If I see it all the time in the bins, I'm gonna pick it up. And when it when it creates a good amount, like 75 worth or 79 worth we can go ahead and sell it you know but if it's if it's kind of stagnant like this you might find it every now and then i don't think it's worth my time to organize it and keep it safe so i think we're just going to keep the track and move on same viewer that i was just talking about earlier guys just hooked us up with some more games uh just all some three to fives nothing wild but uh, thank you huge shout out to her these will definitely go in the booth and make us a couple bucks so this uh vintage ski vest i didn't show me picking it up i just found it just passing through a bin i mean how could you not miss this but um i i just it threw it, it gave me it gave me a flashback it threw me back to my childhood when i first started going out on boats in the water and stuff and my grandparents would have life jackets like this life vests like this um but so there was a couple sold comps um there was one for five dollars on a bid with twenty dollars in shipping so obviously like the demand is not very much there if that only got one bid uh, they made most of their money off of shipping this item. That's that's what happened there. Uh, there was another one for twenty five free ship, and then another one for uh, fourteen ninety nine best offer accepted with ten in ship. Uh, I'm going back and forth on it. It's going to take up a lot of room. The thing is, is it's light. Uh, it's fairly light. It's maybe you know, it's maybe a pound and a half to two pounds. So um, just a little cleaning. Looks like the. Uh, yeah, every, all the straps are good. All the buckles are good on it. So yeah, just a little cleaning, and uh, it's a good size as well. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna hang on to it. And maybe do. I think probably do twenty five free ship on it or something. It'll probably go out for like, you know, eight bucks ish. So eh, I think it's not too bad. So on these big coloring books, there was one of this uh, vendors one, and then there was this other one, this uh, planes one over here. And there was only a comp for the Avengers one, and it was for $8 with $5 in shipping. Um, kind of a pain in the butt to ship. Not gonna lie. And, I mean, they are light. That's the thing, is the cost of goods on this would be relatively low. Really low. Um, I'm kind of thinking booth. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking booth. Because if we're going to start another booth... We need stuff to fill it and this would be like these would be good just filler pieces to uh to put in there for uh people to nerd out on for kids to nerd out on so i think we'll i think we'll hang on to them and throw them in the booth for like probably what it says probably eight bucks <laughs> i'm gonna go quicker on these guys um these dirt devil uh vacuum filters did not have any sold comps probably for good reason see you later so these are some sort of marine uh related filters but a 12 pack went for 28 dollars free shipping this is a six pack so i guess cut that in half and do 14 free ship uh this is super light so that's a yes 
right, the uh, the VIX uh, mini filter free cool mist humidifier. There was only one sold comp for but pre owned for $12 with 18 and ship. We're going to pass on that one. So, in this little tennis ball lot, I was hoping these would be all unused. Um, the only ones that weren't were these pro pens, and I was like, okay, a little excited because they are pro pen. I don't know, they just, I felt like they were, you know, above the average uh, tennis tennis ball but uh turns out they weren't uh, there was a three pack that sold for ten dollars with ten in shipping and we only have one so i can't imagine that this goes for any more than like seven to eight bucks and then minus shipping ebay fees and all that not worth the time we're gonna throw these back i'm sure somebody will take these to like play it again or something and get a couple bucks out of them but not worth our time Guys, let's talk about happy little accidents, okay? Let's just have a, let's just take a little moment here, real quick. All right, so we we obviously uh, we we knew that we had something in the Steel Series mouse. We've uh, we've used these mice before. They are gaming geared mice uh, for PC stuff. Oh, I didn't notice that that is actually gone. That actually does hinder it a little bit. The fact, ooh, wonder if I can go back and try to maybe find it. But that does actually hurt the value. But but I panicked. I panicked when I when I saw this thing because it was wrapped up. It was tangled in a bunch of other stuff. And I was like, crap, I'm just going to take the whole thing. And I looked at this keyboard just at glance. I was like, okay, this keyboard is worthless. But then I was like, wait a minute. This is a SteelSeries keyboard. And it's, of course, there's missing keycaps. But the, um, but the buttons are all good. The uh, switches are all good in this keyboard. And if you guys know anything about gaming keyboards, they can command a lot of money. And this is actually an an Apex Pro by SteelSeries and it's one of their top keyboards and fortunately for us some used comps were at 110 with 20 in ship uh, 80 with 10 in ship um, there's some other 10 uh, 10 key lists there's one for 40 with uh, 15 um, there's a 10 key list this is actually a 10 keyed so it's not exactly the same there's um, I mean, there's one the pre-owned at 169. I was probably new though. The, there's that's a 10 keyless. That's a full version for 100 with free ship. So yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and order the keycap replacement off of the Steel Series website for 15 bucks. Um, the weight on this is probably about two pounds. So for less than 20 dollars, we should have a probably 80 to 100 dollar keyboard. And, and granted that's if it works but i mean it's in fairly good shape it just needs a little cleaning probably gonna end up like taking all the keycaps off of it and just make sure making sure that it's just really clean um blow it out with compressed air and all that good stuff but yeah better than this uh mouse deal than you know i mean this is probably like i don't know what version is or what model is this uh it's a rival 600 so it is one of their higher end mice um you know maybe a 20 dollar bill on that if i find the other piece for it um i think with maybe even without the piece we could get 15 bucks if someone needs a replacement um but yeah this is the real winner here and i didn't even realize it <laughs> i actually saw this part when i saw the steel series logo i was like wait a minute that's a steel series keyboard here we go so be on the lookout Sometimes I panic, and this is what happens. So, guys, there's a hula hoop, <laughs> a clothes hanger, <laughs> um, somebody's fake hair, <laughs> I'm thinking of flowers, I, <laughs> and some electronic stuff that I wanted to dig through. So, <laughs> let me untangle this real fast. All right, this is definitely like somebody donated all their gaming related stuff because this is a Turtle Beach um, sort of like inline uh, controller for one of their headsets. Uh, and I mean, anything with Turtle Beach on it, I'm gonna grab. Um, it's kind of just a higher end brand, higher end, but <laughs> regardless, it sells. So I don't know, maybe like a 10 to $15 piece here. 
I uh, pulled some random USB cable out of there. I think it goes to this, which is what? It doesn't have a brand on there. I don't know. Or maybe this one, those are the speakers that I pulled out. I pulled out a pair of like really crappy speakers and I was just like, okay, you know, these aren't anything worthwhile. Um, another USB cable. So kind of a bust on that, but uh, the Turtle Beach thing was probably worth it alone. The uh, the 30 seconds of pain. Well, maybe maybe a little bit more than that, guys. Maybe it was like a minute of pain. <laughs> but we got it out. We got it out. I had no idea what this was. Didn't even realize that it was in my cart. And sometimes it happens. You just get crazy and you throw stuff in your cart. I think it was when I was getting all that plush. This is some plush that we're throwing back. But this Raya, Disney Raya and the Last Dragon, one exact comp went for. Come on. One for $11.99 and eight in shipping. It's pretty light. It'll ship first class, easy to ship as well. Easy to list. Uh, we'll take a shot on it. It'll be, a good, it's be some good bread and butter money right there. I wasn't feeling positive about any of these plush because they were all labeled Kohl's Care uh, plushes, which didn't ring a bell to me, but apparently this Kung Fu Panda does okay. Uh, there was 15 with eight in ship. Uh, one with five dollars and seven in ship, but here's a uh, 13 with uh, four in ship, 16 free ship, 20 free ship, 15 with eight ship, 13 with five ship. So yeah, I think I think we'll be okay on this one. We'll, we'll keep this guy, especially because he's in really good condition. Like we'll need very minimal cleaning. Has all of his uh, extremities intact. Looks pretty good. That'll be a keeper. One plushie out of many. Almost forgot to mention this uh, Logitech um, uh, webcam here. Uh, I believe this actually kind of looks like the one that we pulled out the other day. Uh, it's a lower end brand. I've seen a lot of Logitech webcams in my day. Uh, I know the C920 and the 922 I've talked about before, they're commonly found still, um, but in high demand. Uh, this one I believe is like a really older, like 720p camera and probably not worth. You know when you look at something and you just feel like it's expensive, right? Um, well, this Vios, Walgreens, Perry, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, this medical pump. Um, there's some pretty okay comps. Um, there was a, uh, well, there was a 27 with best offer accepted there, but there was a 30 with 14 in ship, a 30 with 10 in ship. Uh, there was one with bid. Uh, there's one with 20 with 17 in ship, 21 with 13 in ship, 24 with 11 in ship, so. Yeah, I think this, this should do pretty good. It, it does have a little weight to it. It definitely is probably like a five pound, you know, four to five pound thing, but uh, it still makes some bucks off of it for sure. So we had one personal item. This little apple pie, 25 a slice. This will fit perfectly in Zesty and I's house. Oh, there's a keycap for that keyboard. It's not gonna matter anyway, but kind of cool that we have it, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah. So we got everything pretty much sorted out. You guys know that there's a little, a little uh, Furby down there, a little McDonald's Furby Pokemon ball that will sell. Uh, we have our scramble squares. Um, this will probably just go into the bin or the booth for you know five to seven bucks or something like that, um, as long as they're all in there, which I'm assuming they are. So yeah, we're pretty much all set now. We're sorted out. The line is extra long today, but uh, we're just sitting here shopping in this little bin that's along the big line. And uh, there's a thousand gallon bilge pump. This is again a marine item, but uh, just look up sold comps on it and it's about 50 bucks. We'll probably go free shipping or maybe five bucks in shipping. Not too bad, it's just probably a little over a pound, but yeah, just um, sitting here hanging out, waiting, and finding a $40, $50 item. So their payment processing system was not working correctly. That took about a good 30 minutes of waiting in line. But hey, we scored one item that was worth, you know, probably the entire haul. Uh, we got a grand total of 29 bucks there. So not too bad today, not too bad. Like I said, that, that bilge pump that we found at the end will probably cover the entire uh, trip there. And you guys will see the grand total up top here. Uh, thank you so much again for watching on the first day of five trips to the Goodwill bins to see how much profit we can make.